In Michigan, family and friends paid tribute to Wes Leonard, the high school basketball player who collapsed and died suddenly after a game last week. CBS News national correspondent Dean Reynolds is in Holland, Michigan this morning with more on that story. Dean, good morning. Jeff, good morning to you. Well, funeral services will be held here later today for the star player whose teammates really rose to the occasion last night. Drawing on support from each other, the grief-stricken Fenville High School Blackhawks took the floor Monday night, hoping to advance in the playoffs without the player who got them there. Wes Leonard died last Thursday from cardiac arrest due to an enlarged heart. And his death at the age of 16, minutes after sinking this winning shot, has traumatized the town where banners bearing his number now fly on Main Street. He went from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows within the space of uh, just a few minutes at the end of that game last Thursday night. Monday night's game provided a more positive focus for Fenville and even for Lawrence High, their opponents, whose players also wore warm-up jerseys with Leonard's number. Tonight we seek to honor Wes's memory by participating in a game he loved. Among the 3,500 in attendance were his parents. Join us in a moment of silence in the memory of Wes Leonard. Bearing up as best they could. But the game went on, as those who knew him said, just as Wes would have wanted it. A seesaw contest that kept the sold out crowd on its feet until Fenville finally pulled away and won 65-54. At the end, there were embraces and tears from both teams and a show of solidarity from the defeated coach to the victor, whose team now advances in the playoffs. And strong they will have to be, as uh, you could see the toll on the faces of these young boys last night. Uh, they have learned a very hard lesson about life and death at a very young age. Jeff? All right, Dean Reynolds, Dean, thank you.